The trade and setup I'm going to share with you in this video is one of my absolute favorite trades and setups of all time. The reason is that I have 100% confidence in this trading setup and strategy. This trading setup is kind of like being offered Super Bowl tickets for $50 per ticket. And what's even better about it is that your favorite team is playing. This trade is such a good entry and setup that you have to take it. If there are Super Bowl tickets, you say, yes, I'll take them all. That's the kind of feeling that we're looking for on this type of trade. We want to have as close to 100% confidence as we possibly possibly can and that's what this trade and setup does. Part of the reason is that even if things don't quite work out the way you planned, well you're still very very happy because of the way this trade is set up. Before I get into the details about this trade and setup, let me tell you a little bit about the trade and setup that gives me 100% confidence. Here you see the weekly chart of Stanley Black & Decker. Here you see that going back to its recent high, back on May 14th of 2021, through the day that we entered this trade, which is right here where you see the yellow arrow, on November 17th, Stanley Decker was down almost 65% from that high. It had really been beaten up, maybe kind of like your favorite football team. However, what I saw here is that over the previous two months, kind of in in this area in here, Stanley Black & Decker had pretty much traded sideways. So it appeared that it had found support. If I zoom in here a little bit, you see that on the week of October 14th, it found support just above $70 per share. It retested that support two weeks later on the week of November 4th, and again, it found support in that same $70 area at $70.70 per share. At that point, that coupled with nice high green volume bar the week before on a nice up candlestick, it made me feel comfortable entering this trade. Now just understand that this technical setup is not the only reason for my 100% confidence in this trade and setup. I'm going to get to the second part of it in just a minute. That second part is what makes this trade even sweeter. Kind of like the icing on a cake. It makes the cake even better than the cake would have been if it was just the cake. Now I'll switch over to the daily chart of Stanley Black & Decker. Now as we can clearly see that it was in a very strong downtrend. Every time it approached this green 50 moving average, it found resistance there. However, this area here saw Stanley Black & Decker consolidating and then pushed through the green 50 moving average and held that for several days before retracing and finding support in an area that we expected to find support at. The highs from the previous wave, which had been its resistance. Once I saw it doing that on November 17th, I decided to go ahead and enter a bullish option position in Stanley Black & Decker. And here's where we get to the icing on the cake, or going back to our Super Bowl tickets, here's where we get to the scenario that these Super Bowl seats for $50 a piece were actually not just seats, but they're box seats. Here you see that we did two trades. I'm gonna focus on this lower trade here. Now this is on November 17th. I sent this alert to my patrons that we had done a risk reversal in SWK by selling the January of 2025 $60 cash secure put option. We we're paid $9.87 for those leap puts. We then used part of that money to buy the January of 25 135 call option which cost us almost $6 per share. So for this overall risk reversal position, this will be pocketed right at $415 minus commission. Now why this give me even more confidence than just selling a put option when SWK came and finding nice support, now I've switched over to the monthly chart of Stanley Black & Decker. Notice what would have to happen in order for these leaps cash seeker put options to be assigned to us. With SWK trading right around $80 per share, it would have to decline all the way down to $60 per share, which would mean it would have to drop another 25% for the $60 cash seeker put option to be challenged. So in all, that would mean that SWK would have had to drop almost 75% from its recent high in order for these cash seeker put options to even be challenged. So I get to sell put options in a company that I really like and I really believe in. I get to sell it after it's had a huge decline and finding support on multiple different time frames. And I sell an option that's 25% out of the money, all while collecting $415 minus commission. To me, that's like getting Super Bowl tickets for $50 per seat and then finding out that they're actually box office seats. Before I show you where this position is right now, keep in mind that up to this point, this has been a really nice, interesting, safe trade and it hasn't even gone our way yet. We just entered this position. Now let me show you where this trade is at 241 days after we entered it. Here you see the portfolio tab in my brokerage account. Let's focus on this position right down here, these last three lines, the January 25, 60, 135, risk reversal. Notice that my broker is saying we have a profit of $577 in this position. Well, what kind of return is that? Now remember, we sold a cash care put option that was 25% out of the money. That was a long way until expiration. With this $577 unrealized profit and being in the trade at this point, 241 days, when we annualize that and divide it by the $6,000 we would need if this put option was assigned to us, right now we're at a 14.6% annualized non-leveraged return. That's a really nice return for selling a cash care put option in a company that I really like and a put option is 25% out of the money when the stock has already experienced a huge drop. Now we are a long way from this put option being assigned to 
to us. So how much is our return based on just the margin requirement that our broker is saying that we need to have set aside for this position? Well, I've tried to replicate the scenario of entering this position. Notice that my broker is saying we would need $747 in margin for this position. What kind of return does that equate to? We take the same $577 in unrealized profit, divide it by the same 241 days, annualize it, and divide by that margin requirement, what well, comes to a 117% annualized return on margin on a very safe trade in a company that I really like. If you want to be a successful long-term stock and ops trader, it's very important to learn how to set yourself up to win no matter what happens. In this trade, we win no matter what happens with SWK. Barring some unforeseen event where SWK goes basically bankrupt, this is a trade I really like no matter what happens. It's kind of like getting tickets to a Super Bowl for just $50. Either we get a good, safe return by selling these options and they expire worthless or we close them out early, or we end up being able to buy Stanley Black & Decker at a very big discount and got paid up front to enter that trade. And the kicker I didn't even really address here, we then used part of that money to buy the January of 25 call option. So if Stanley Black & Decker goes way up, that call option will go way up in value. There's a lot of things we can do with that call option to turn this into an even more profitable position. Now, if you just want to pocket some nice upfront cash, you could consider just selling that leaps put option instead of using part of that cash to buy the call option like we did. So our strategy here is to look for stocks that have experienced a really large sharp decline but appear to be finding support. Then consider selling leaps put options that are farther out of the money on your great company. Then just decide what you want to do with that cash. Do you want to pocket it or do you want to use some of it to buy some leaps call options which can potentially be turned into a risk reversal or just sold later on if they become profitable. But please always keep in mind how much cash you would need if these cash secure put options were assigned to you. And always know what you're risking with any trade and have a plan in place in case it doesn't turn out the way you expected. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we do trades, like this Stanley Black & Decker trade that I mentioned to you in this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how we use risk reversals to potentially generate very high returns and put really nice cash flow into our pocket, check out the video at the link above entitled My Stock and Option Trading Secret Weapon, Risk Reversals. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.